Hey folks, uh, VM Explorer here, and today we're going to be going through kind of the build of materials for my new Generation 8 uh, Home Lab. As you can see, I got a, a lot of the parts laid out here, uh, but they're all going into this Dell T7820 uh, uh, workstation. Now, I bought this uh, unit uh, bare bones, so uh, nothing was in it. The only thing it came with was this uh, stock cooler right here and some uh, empty trays like these guys right here. And that was it. Uh, this one has the uh, U2 backplane option, which are these cables right here and those connectors. And that gives me U.2 uh, style drives that I can run up uh, back there. So that's important. When you're looking for a bare bones system in the 7820, if you can get it with the... Uh, the U2 option, that's a great option, and they're universal. They'll take uh, standard uh, SATA drives or the U.2 interface as well. You can get some M2, M.2 options there. It's pretty flexible, which makes it nice. So we've got, uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty quiet system. You know, when it's running, uh, the fans aren't too loud. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably replace them, but I, I don't see a need for it. Um, it it's noticeable, but it's not... Uh, loud to where you couldn't work in the same room. So the fans are, are pretty good. It seems to be built uh, fairly well, very sturdy. Uh, it's heavy with everything's in it, right? When you got everything in it, it, uh, it actually has some pretty good weight to it, and it feels really rigid and solid like you would expect it to. So let's go through uh, some of the cards that, it, uh, that I plan on putting in. Now, it came with this uh, Quadro uh, 600 car fan. It's nice and quiet. You barely know it's there. Uh, I put this in the PCIe 1 slot. I don't need it to be X16. Uh, video is not important for what we're doing here uh, with an ESXi server. Um, now, what I wish that the uh, 7820 came with would be a port for video. That would be nice, but these are all the ports you get. You get some audios, some serial, you know, an old PS2 connector, um, you know, networking and a bunch of uh, USB connectors. No video, onboard video. Onboard video would be nice, be one less card that I got to put in the server, but it came with this card. Uh, not such a bad deal. Uh, the next card up is the uh, Broadcom uh, 5719. This is a quad port uh, gigabit card. Now, I got this card because I needed to do some extra networking, and it's always handy to have that flexibility uh, in your network, right? Uh, a couple extra ports always come in handy, and the cost was great. It was only about like maybe $18, $20 uh, US uh, used on eBay. Uh, moving up from that, we're talking about the QLogic uh, 54212. Uh, um, this is a Dell-based card. It's a 25 uh, gigabit uh, dual port card. Now we're gonna need this for uh, vSAN ESA to actually uh, push that data path uh, kind of for its backbone is what this will primarily use case for is Primarily for vSAN, I might use it for a fault tolerant network. We'll see how it works out from there. Uh, moving into some of the other drives now, this next one goes in the actual caddy, which is this right here. Uh, this is the Intel uh, uh, 3710 400 gig uh, uh, SATA SSD. I'm using it for boot, a boot disk, no big deal there, right? And then its uh, partner is going to be uh, this drive right here which is another Intel drive, the 5410, it's 3.84 uh, terabytes. Now this drive, this SSD drive, I use for extra storage. So it makes a uh, VMDK, uh, where I wanna store my VMDKs, or if I wanna store some ISO files, or I wanna run a VM off something real quick, local, uh, this comes in handy. I found that uh, kinda nice when you have to maybe evacuate your vSAN, you need some place to stick something, or you're just starting something up, it comes in handy to have a little extra space hanging out there. Uh, as far as uh, vSAN drives, I'm using the uh, Intel uh, uh, P4800X drives in uh, two different flavors. Uh, these two are the 1.5 terabytes, and the ones over here are uh, 750 gigabytes. Now, this one goes into uh, the Caddy, right, for, that came with the... Uh, T7820, uh, but it has a U2, U.2 interface, and that's what I was talking about up here, was this backplane up here that's key, right? Now I can plug these style drives, which are ultra-fast drives, uh, into this unit and not have to take up too many spaces. It only has two uh, drives it could do. I really needed four for an ESA cluster. That's why I'm using these StarTech adapters here to be able to convert the drive U.2 to a PCIe and then stick it into the slot. 
Uh, the processor in here uh, is a uh, 6252 Xeon. It's their uh, second generation processor, and it's an ES line. So ES means engineering samples. You can save a lot of money by by going with one. They're sometimes risky. I've had really good luck with them and uh, no real problems with it so far. They've operated very nicely uh, in this system. Uh, the memory are all 64 gig uh, memory sticks that are just your standard ECC registered NIMS. No big deal. Now the last thing that's really important here is the uh, PCIe order, right? You want to make sure you put your cards in the right order. So for example, uh, we talked earlier about this uh, Quadro card. Yes, it's true. I could probably stick it in the one that is rated for uh, X1675 watt, this guy right here, but what a waste, right? I, got, I really don't need that type of video. So I moved it down and I actually put it into this slot right here, which is only uh, X1, right? So that's where my video goes. Below that, uh, these two guys here. This one's rated for uh, eight, uh, or sorry, sixteen, and this is rated for four or one. So I put uh, my two uh, cards, or the PCI U U dot two, to PCIe cards in there. That's this guy right there. So they'll go there. Video here, right? Then we go up a step, another X sixteen. That's going to be this uh, a Broadcom card, which is fine. Okay, and then lastly, the last card, which is 8x, is going to be my uh, 25 gigabit card. Now I put that this card in this order right in here at the top because of the length of the cables as they come down the back of the chassis and plug in. It was optimal to have it in a high position, right? But it was uh, also it met the needs of this particular 8x card. So, folks, uh, that is about it. That's a quick wrap-up, kind of covering the current bill of materials of everything I plan to put into this system. Uh, so far, I've installed ESXi 8. Uh, it's accepted all the cards. These two cards, note, they are on the uh, HCL. This one, that you might note, it has a fan, and yes, it is loud, <laughs> right? I might have to do something about that. It does run a little bit loud, but it's not uh, unbearable. Uh, and that, folks, is about it. Those are all the parts I'm working on right now. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please do leave them in the, the comments below. Click on subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone.